Now let's see the limitations of the tangent. As we have seen clearly here, I have taken the tangent with restrictions that slope is not equal to zero. What? The question comes here, what if m is equal to zero? So what happens when the slope is zero? Why can't I accept m equal to zero for this line to be a tangent to the parabola in case of condition for tangency? So let's see m equal to 0 that is the slope m equal to 0 implies the line is parallel to x-axis because any line parallel to x-axis has its slope 0 and slope of x-axis itself is 0 implies the line y equal to mx plus c is parallel to x-axis but as the parabola extends to infinity you cannot have a line which is parallel to x-axis and acting as a tangent because as this parabola extends up or down it opens up and then the line does not touch the parabola that implies the line meets or touches the parabola at infinity is how we understand now because the line touches the parabola at infinity that implies tangent does not exist for m equal to 0. Therefore, in order that a tangent exists for the parabola, the condition is m is not equal to 0. As how I understand the condition of tangency restricted with the condition m not equal to 0. That is, the slope of the line is non-zero. Now, let's connect the condition for tangency with equation of tangent. Now, we know that the condition for tangency is c equals a by m. And therefore, when I say y equal to mx plus c is the tangent, c can be replaced with a by m. Therefore, y equal to mx plus a by m is said to be the tangent of the parabola. So if you know the slope and the value of a, we can construct the tangent for the given parabola. So this is the condition for tangency reduced to the equation of tangent, which is mx plus a by m. And the point of contact here is given by p, that is a m square and 2 a by m is how we define the point of contact. Or this is also given by, in terms of C, it's given by C by M and 2C. If the value of C is given, we reduce using the condition C equals A by M. That's how we understand the point condition, the equation of tangent and the point of contact of the tangent with the parabola. This, this and this. Now let's study the properties of tangent with respect to X and Y axis. So tangents with respect to x-axis and y-axis. Say for example, I take the parabola y square equal to 4ax and then I see that 
there's only one tangent which can be drawn parallel to y axis or y axis itself therefore if i take x axis there's no tangent which is parallel to x axis as we have seen in the previous case no tangent parallel to x axis but when i take the y axis i see that there's only one and one tangent parallel to y axis only one tangent exists which is parallel to y axis or y axis itself is how we understand the tangent connected with the parabola now let's see the concept of tangents from an external point so as we know that there are three positions of points one is inside the parabola on the parabola and outside the parabola so we have three cases which arise with the tangents so as i take here a parabola and i take a point p inside and i take a parabola and a point p on and i take a parabola outside then i say that in this case of p lying inside the parabola no tangents can be drawn <laughs> for a point p on the parabola there's only one tangent which can be drawn on the parabola for a point p outside there are two tangents which can be drawn from a point outside the parabola therefore from an external point there are two tangents which can be drawn so in case of p on one tangent and in case of this two tangents and no tangents no tangents if p is inside one tangent if p is on the parabola and two tangents if p is outside the parabola as how we understand the concept of inside on and outside next let's see the equation of chord joining two points so for example i have a parabola y square equals 4ax now here we suppose i have a chord which cuts a secant which cuts the parabola in two points that is a and b where here ab is called the chord of the parabola now the chord ab can be found with its equation using the formula with s equals y square minus 4as x equal to 0 implies equation of chord ab is given by s1 plus s2 equals s12 is how we understand the equations of chord where this is given by the coordinates x1 y1 and this with x2 y2 so equation of chord joining a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 is given by s1 plus s2 equals s12 normal to the curve so what is a normal to the parabola as we have discussed the normal concept in a circle is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent and passing through the point is the similar definition which we give for a parabola so let's see the normal for a parabola 
Say for example, I have a parabola y squared equals 4ax with this being x-axis and this being y-axis. If suppose I take a tangent to this parabola is given by this at the point p x1 y1 then a line which passes through p and perpendicular to t is called the normal that is a line which passes through p and is perpendicular is called the normal a normal is a line perpendicular to tangent so n is perpendicular to t and passes through p x1 y1 so this is called the normal and this is called the tangent so normal and the tangent equation of normal let's see the equation of normal for the concept of normal i have now in the previous case i have defined the tangent and perpendicular to this as the normal now in order to find the equation of normal i need to find equation of this line which is given by equation of normal at p x1 y1 is given by y minus y1 equals as this so equation of normal is y minus y1 equals minus y1 by 2a into x minus x1 is how we identify the normal and similarly we have slope of normal which is given by minus y1 by 2a so slope of normal is minus y1 by 2a and equation of normal is this equals this is how we understand the tangent and normal with their respective equations for the parabola in standard form y square equal to 4ax